If you've enjoyed the music of System of a Down over the years, you've enjoyed the playing of Shava Odajian, the bass player for the group, who joins us on K-Rock right now. Hey, so happy to be here. Thank hey, you. Shavo. How you doing, man? Good, brother. It has been too long since we've had you on. I know there's a lot to catch up on. Where do you want to start? Do you want to start with music stuff, or do you want to start with weed stuff? Uh, anything you want to start. I mean, let's anywhere. start with music stuff. Let's do All it. All right. Let's, let's start with that. music stuff. Whatever the, you want. The, the, the System of a Down show, by the way, is coming up uh, this Saturday night at the Glen Helen Amphitheater, along with Incubus. That's a phenomenal double bill. You also have some other bands on the bill, right? At the Drive-In is playing? At the Drive-In. We have Amazing. Incub- yeah. And, and Skeleton Witch. Amazing, which is, which is a band that I actually been listening to for like the last two years, um, and they actually helped me lose the weight, you know, because I was listening to them and I was doing all the cardio and stuff. That's right. I was all getting groove, you know. So uh, <laughs> yeah, so I listened to them so much they actually like inspired me to like write more. I don't That's know why their, their riffage is really amazing. So, so really... it's a, a diet and a writing and a writing set. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, That's so, cool. so when the, That's so... cool for you to be in a position <laughs> to be able to... to like somebody and then say, "Hey, come play." Yeah. So the band Miller. asked, like, I just wanted to get some real like bands we love. So that's what we did. You know? So yeah. is this like an all day thing though? Because you've got five opening bands. Uh, it starts at three thirty. It's four opening bands, I think, right? It's four opening bands. Who's that again? Yeah, I've got drive in Clutch, Paul Bear, and Skeleton yeah. Witch. Paul Bear, oh, I totally forgot. About- <laughs> yeah, and Clutch, one of my favorite bands in the world. The band that actually like took us out for the first time it was Clutch and Slayer. Our first tour in ninety eight. Oh, is that right? Yeah. All through America. So it was like. A band I listened to when I picked up the bass, actually. When I picked up the bass from playing guitar and onto bass, I was really getting into Clutch and Caius and stuff. So the band has a, like a joke about me because every time we'd get in to start jamming, I'd play a Clutch riff. Uh. <laughs> so, <laughs> like a Clutch bass line. So that was our ongoing joke, you know? Well, it's a fantastic uh, weekend. Uh, this Saturday, again, at Glen Helen. Tickets available at systemofadown.com or livenation.com. We're so happy to see big rock shows. Yeah. Like, you know, we just had Cal Jam this past weekend. I don't know if you got a chance to go out there. Or not. No, I didn't because I was in uh, Mexico. We had a show there. We played Force Fest. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, it was amazing. But it's just there aren't nearly as many of those as there used to be. And the ones that we used to be able to count on, you know, your Lollapaloozas and your Coachellas and and, and, and and festivals like that, there's very little rock music in any of those anymore. I know, man. Almost I none, know. yeah. Almost none. That's just where we are right now. But I think everything will kind of... It's, it's just a progression, you know. Sure, what I, mean? yeah. it, I sure it hope happens. it's a pendulum. Yeah, it should be. It should. Ha, be. Has the has the fandom for System of a Down? How long have you guys been together now? Uh, we started in '95, so it is that 23 years. Okay, has the fandom, like that? That's crazy. Has, yeah. has the fandom wavered at all, or can you go out any time and you know your people are going to show up? Um, they show up, man. They we, do. Yeah. We have a cool fan base, man. We just we're blessed. We're so lucky to be in this position, seriously, because we play a show and they come, and you know they actually want us to play more shows. They want an album, you know, and we just kind of have, haven't delivered oh, yeah. that. Hey, for you're a gonna while. give them an album, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully one day. I don't know where we're at with that, but you know. Um, I'm almost afraid to ask you about that because I know <laughs> yeah. how controversial it has been it's, because all of you have spoken out kind of in social media and interviews over the years, and it's just like, Sort of separately. Yeah. Yeah, like year yeah. after year after year, it just seems to get more complicated. Because it's all... Okay, people respond to social media. That's where... Okay, it's getting complicated because of social media, because it's a he said, she said thing. Yeah. So everyone tries to like say their piece because of what they've read. So that's all it is. Nothing new. It's... All, Anything you've read in the last two years, it's been around for the last 10 years. So it's just now coming out because social media is out there. Let me just ask it in a general way. Go for it. Next five, 10 years. (laughs) You know, (laughs) what do you think? If it was my way, it would be now. Right, of course, yeah. But I'm asking you for the- to tango, so- To guess about the whole band. Um, Next five to 10 years or no? I'm I'm hoping. (laughs) Hoping, okay. I'm, I'm hoping because like I said, for me, we have so much material- Right. We've got material for like the last 10, 12 years, you know. We, are, we all write. So I personally have a lot. Darren has a lot. I know Serge got a lot. But I don't know if we're going to be doing it together. I don't know what's going on. Well, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm hoping. I'm wishing, you know. Like we still love each other. There's nothing. Like no one's done anything wrong no to each other. No one's angry at each no other. No one's angry at each other. It's not like someone's done something to someone and, and they can't take it back. You right. know what I mean? Nothing like that's occurred. It's just, I think it's just a, an artistic thing and yes. that's you know i i want I to believe you shavo i want you to believe me too <laughs> i do no i i really do because i think that would be so uh, mature of you to be able to do that but if honestly if one or more members of the band are standing in the way of what everybody else wants to do i don't know how there's not some some bad blood some animosity i don't know how you get it's, together and you, play a show and not think about it well listen man i personally do think about it always and i'm i can't speak for the rest of the guys i do think about it but i don't hold grudges i can't do that 
But it, it's hurtful because I really do want to play and I want to make music and I want to make a record. And I didn't join a, a band and didn't get famous to stop playing music. Right, you know what exactly. I, mean? yeah. you know, I yeah. want to play more music. But um, it is what it is. Uh, and we're going to roll through the punches You're right now. We're playing Saturday at That's, Glenn We're Helen. playing Saturday. We'll do as many as we can, as many as everybody, the unit, wants to do together. Right. I can't force anybody on stage. I can't force anybody into a studio. I can't force anyone anywhere. So... And it, and it won't be good for us either. You know, right, exactly. nothing is good for us. Everything has to come naturally and become what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm. Listen, I'm surprised. I'm surprised more bands don't get stuck where you guys are. It's just it's impossible for four people, five people, what, however many, three people to ha- all have the same goal. Be on the same page. Uh, it just it's makes tough, sense. You know, it, it is. Tough. It's it's just what is rough with us is our fans are so like hardcore sure. that we're. I mean, it's just a blessing that they want a new record. Oh, yeah. You know, it's a it's a blessing. A bands will kill people for this. You know what I mean? Yeah, They'll yeah, kill for this. Yeah. You know, for being in this position. So it's because everyone's always wanting a record. It's us always talking about doing the record. It's us having the material to make the record. And you know, one way or another, well, listen, it hasn't if been you done get yet. together and you make a record, make like three of them. It would be nice, right? <laughs> that's what we did <laughs> for. Yeah, that's what we did for the last yeah. two. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. So. I mean, dude, we could, we have enough material. Trust I, I, me, trust I, I, me. Can I, I send so. a shaman out there to Please. Glenn Helen? That would be nice. Just have a nice little Cleanse. meeting with you guys, <laughs> a little bit of Satan. We'll do it all, right? And, and let's send uh, Metall- Metallica psychiatrist, too. Let's hey, send dude, that I've, had that, I've had that conversation. Have you? I bet mm-hmm. you have, yeah. Because that would be cool, you know? Like, maybe someone has to sit in the middle and be like, mm, you know. This yeah. is what he means. Let's work it out. This is right? what like, he means. And, by the, way, and by the way, that's fine. Yeah. But there's nothing. Why not? But like I said, it's your not like, fans would love to see that happen because true. your fans want it. But yeah. it's not like someone has done something. So it's mm-hmm. not like this. They can be like, oh, he did this for that reason. No, it's just, I don't know. I'm it's willing different. to put yeah. it out there. I will go to Glen Helen and we will all do ayahuasca <laughs> okay. and we like will figure <laughs> this all out together I'm in. as a people. Ayahuasca and puke. Yes. I'm in. <laughs> Who's in? <laughs> that's oh, good so music. Okay. Ayahuasca, puke, and good music. That's a, that's a weekend. This is the voice of our friend Shavo Dajian from System of a Down. Before we take a break and come back and talk about your new weed strain, huh. Kevin, do you have the tape from System? At Acoustic Christmas. Oh, it's my favorite. Uh-oh. 2014. One of the reasons why we love your band and one of the reasons why no one replaces your band and you guys have to stay together forever is because of moments you give us like this. You have no idea what we're about to play. No. Do you, All okay. right. Again, remember, <laughs> set it up. Acoustic Christmas. Yeah. yeah I really so whips people missing. into a, a festive was, uh, frenzy. <laughs> let's right. hear. Let's hear. you. 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 Is that a loop? No. 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 It was the whole forum chanting it with you. That's oh my not God. a loop. That, okay, was, I thought, that all I happened. Do, I do not remember that moment. <laughs> really? We and remember I, it so well because I just remember I was sitting there watching it and I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> well, I just kept thinking, what a beautiful there, tribute man. to the baby Jesus. Right. <laughs> That's what I kept thinking. All That's right. so funny. Shavo is our guest. We'll my tell people. you all about 22 Red when we return right after this on K-Rock. All right, let's talk about weed, shall we? Let's, let's do it. Let's talk about weed. Our, our guest is Shavo Adagian, bass player for that <laughs> band right there, System of a Down. One of the nicest guys in show business, by the way, Shavo. It's oh, always such you. a treat when you stop by here thank and there. You, playing the Glen Helen Pavilion in San Bernardino this Saturday. Get your ticket, systemofdown.com. All right, what is 22 Red, Shavo? 22 Red is a brand that we started about like seven months ago, um, six months ago. It's not just a weed strain. It's a brand. It's a um, like a lifestyle brand. I have clothing. See the shirt I'm wearing? Clothing, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. but we're actually, it's like really quality for me. Everything should be quality because it's my brand, so I'm representing it. So from the, the, the material to the cut, to everything, to the style, to the little things on it. Like, I, it's the way I dress. Um, how, how much time do you spend on little details like that where you're like, I just spent 20 minutes talking about a shoulder? And well, I, I, to- I do, though. Like, yesterday I was with one of my partners doing the clothing, and we're, because we're doing, um, for all the shows at 6.30 roundabouts that uh, stay tuned for the time i'm, I'm gonna get out there and we're gonna do a giveaway a 22 red giveaway for all the shows i'm gonna i have a little 22 red booth where i'm gonna give away uh, 50 shirts a show and 100 picks a show wow um, I've, I've i've made a system of down 22 red picks so wow. i'm gonna pass those out to the and first that includes glenn helen glenn helen this saturday this okay. saturday so um yeah it's just really something I've always wanted to do. It's something really organic for me. The weed-wise, okay, it's uh, we're releasing pre-rolls and we're releasing vapes. 
and uh, it's, there's going to be cartridges and there's also going to be disposables. Soon we'll have uh, microdose gummies and we'll have stuff like that, which are CBD infused, mm-hmm. which is really good for the, you know, for mm-hmm. people that don't smoke weed all the time, but they have certain things, they have anxiety or they have, let's say, they want to eat and they want to sleep. This stuff helps, you know? I feel like CBD is becoming just the thing. It's amazing, though. It really helps, though. That's yeah. the thing where, where, like, until now, it's been really like taboo you know it's like weed it's 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 a, it's a well, weed, drug and weed is evil was always stupid yeah i mean and cbd isn't even you know the high part it's not it's thc not the, no it's right. just the medic the uh, medicinal part right. of it so it's just crazy that that's illegal you know yeah. or was illegal yeah, yeah, it, it really so, was because it's helping so many people with so many different medical issues and animals as well, by the way. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh my God, for, like for, the dog oh, treats yeah. is amazing. Yeah. My dog chills out and like doesn't have those. Um, and my dog was having seizures and it oh. totally stopped that. No, nope. mine, yeah, yeah. awesome. mine too, Shavo, exactly really? the same. Mine and then, too, yeah. And, and then my father has uh, arthritis uh, on his wrist, which I'm actually getting myself. No, no, no. Oh. Yeah, right. it's small, small. Okay. Anyways, but it helps him a lot. It really helps him. I, I, I got him the rub and then also the little tincture for the CBD. It's uh, kind of a weird thing to have your dad call you and go, hey, uh, can well, you hook me well, up? Well, he didn't call me. I <laughs> kind of like went at him with it. And he, you know, old Armenian, sure. you know, he's uh, not, you know, I'm not going to do that ever. And I just showed him, you know, I showed him and I yeah. rubbed it. And, it's not that big And he was like, it actually feels better. Yeah. And then he wanted to try the other thing. You know, it's nothing to get high, but like just, it does help. And yeah. I, it does help. You know, and it's, it's the time right now. So since I'm connected within the world I, also for the growers i have i'm uh my network is pretty large with because i'm a connoisseur right. of, of it you know i told you i got sober three years ago yes I'll, I'll talk about that one day uh but i just smoke weed and um it helps me so i've met a lot of growers a lot of master growers i was a gonna lot ask, of legends how do you come up with a strain well it's Your own. what they've come up with. It's not me. It's like I taste and I see. Like there's always like new strains coming up because they're doing a lot of pheno hunting. Mm-hmm. They're trying to find a good strain that like a better strain, something that helps with this, helps with that, feels like this, feels like that. So I go, I do testing, and then I see which that is that is really you know, nice of you to do to... all that testing. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, right? Hey, anything I mean, for you my, could be you could be hands you off. You could be hands off on this business, but look, he's actually I'm, doing the work. I'll be honest. It's not like I'm trying to put my name on something and say go. It's the Green Rush, and I'm going to go make. Me-. It's more of like since it's the time I can do it, I want to do it right. I want to be one of the people that are doing it right. I want to be fully involved. That's why I didn't call it Shavo. I called it Twenty Two Red. It's something mm-hmm. special. It's my birthday. It's my I want to be fully involved as well. You know, <laughs> um, Chavo, yes. I hope that you brought some samples in so we know what we're talking about, did. right? He did. Yes. Okay, yes, there we go. Right. What a great <laughs> Armenian American. <laughs> Honestly, we it took us this long to get to that question when that's really our question. <laughs> that's the only it. reason we invited you, When's Chavo? the next break? When's the next break? <laughs> um, let me ask you this question that just occurred to me. So your dad has a son in system of a down what's that like for him and how receptive was he to the idea of you guys in this band from the beginning oh dude he was like the most uh like he had my back from day one him and my mom well my mom wasn't day one she was like day two my (laughs) mom my mom was day one i mean sorry my dad was day one he wore the system windbreaker he would come to every show is that right he filmed the first show may 28th 1995 at the roxy with his big ass uh vhs we know you put those giant giant cameras and i still have that video he was sitting there recording oh wow yeah he's come to almost every show within a hundred mile well 50 mile vicinity wow you know what i mean uh, now he's, he's he's proud of you because you're his boy but what does he as a i assume you know 60 year old man what does he think of the music he actually likes it i swear they all like it they like the music there's you know our, our music does have melody in it it does yeah so i mean they get it you know it's it has the cool. now you said your mom wasn't on day one i know i can imagine most parents would think <laughs> yeah oh, especially I want you to go into music since my beard was really long back then you know and it wasn't the armenian thing to do you know all so right. you know she would got you know kind of bug on that but it changed yeah, yeah. It changed. <laughs> well when you started buying him houses i'm sure yeah. it changed a lot now my, now my dad uh he still works i mean he won't quit he won't stop he's 60 with nine years old and he won't stop working anyways so all his like workers uh are fans so he's hooking them up with tickets oh, that's awesome. like, I, just, yeah. I just gave him 10 it's tickets to it. yeah really <laughs> yeah, so yeah. he's a popular dude very, i love that very i love that yeah which is really cool he loves it too <laughs> so the uh so dad so t- so 22redla.com, that's your website? That's the website. You can follow us on Instagram at 22redla also. Um, follow me and you'll know more about it, Shavo Dajan. Um, I'm usually doing Instagram. I, I've kind of backed off of the Twitter. And Would you mind um, spelling your last name just because it's a little bit? 
uh, last name is O D A D J I A N, and that's with Shavo, Shavo S H A V O. Um, follow that, you'll get all the info uh, okay. on what we're doing. And, and 22 uh, Red is a, is a clothing line. It's got T-shirts, hats, sunglasses, as you mentioned, the it, vape and the and the weed as well. Yeah, it has it's and on a little the, bit of everything. On the 22nd of every month, we will have announcements for the next release. We're going to drop a lot of like rare. Uh, flowers. We're gonna drop cool clothing that's only gonna be available at certain places. So it's gonna be one of those like exclusive cool things. I'm not doing with large scales. This is small. almost like you're putting a lot of work into yeah. it. Yeah. Thought. Oh, I've been preparation is, and, yeah. and all made here in LA. I, actually, I think that's yeah. Huge. It's all made here, yeah. and um, I've actually feel the way I felt 22 years ago when I was 22 when I when System of Down started and I was managing, going to school, working at the bank, doing it all in one day. And starting the same day the next day, you know what I mean? Just yeah. doing that, and I was a grinder, and I'm grinding again because I feel so like it's a part of me. So. Can you imagine can I... working with Chavo at the bank? Yes, I love it. <laughs> There's a few then, people that can. And then, they, they then seeing him play. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we appreciate you. 22redla.com for that business. Systemofadown.com if you want to buy tickets for the show at the Glen Helen Amphitheater with Incubus and all the other bands opening up. By the way, True System fans will know this, but in case you didn't, Sacramento, Phoenix, San Diego, and Las Vegas. So a bunch of shows coming up in the next week or so. Yep. Chavo, give our best to the boys, man. We'll Great do. To see you. We'll Thanks do. Thank you so much for having me, guys.